The videos you might probably miss on our main channel about these custom rooms and if you watch those videos if you watch those videos you're good but if you haven't so i'll share with you those ones these are quite useful and quite helpful for you but let's take a quick look first of all i made a video already on android 13 beta 2 if you want to install android 13 beta 2 on a device and if you have already installed and want to find out some things or some new things which you got in android 13 beta 2 i made a video on that thing especially uh, maybe some time ago you can find out the changes which you have in android 13 beta 2 and all the features which you have in android 13 it's is it better than android 12 or not or maybe it has android 12.1 features or not all these queries can be answered by watching that video as i mentioned i will provide the link for all of these videos in the description it includes some extra features in dark theme where you can enable it uh, maybe it turns on at bedtime which is uh, right now while making that video it was not working but the feature was added as it is beta one so yes you might notice these things including that we also have uh, this media player customizations in android 13 beta 2 you can see this is how it is looking like the media player seems to be quite interesting with all those animations etc and this was about android 13 beta 2 another one another video which you might probably have missed about this one this one is a custom room which was actually one of the most stable custom rooms i had ever tried on my device especially in redmi note 9 pro and yes this room is available for other devices also unfortunately the new update is not available not based on android 12 not based on android 12.1 it's only based on android 11 it includes oxygen os style ui so yes if you loved oxygen os ui you might already need these things we have these options available you can customize the asin color you can customize a lot of things and this is how the settings ui look like settings ui has very good kind of things it will give you some basic features for sure but it will not give you some major customizations but in my opinion this room is actually good enough to use on a device as this is a this is old update and if your device does not have that unfortunately you'll not be able to install this but i will recommend you if it is available for your device go and install it definitely another one another video which you might have missed for sure is uh, this pixel experience versus arrow os yes a lot of users always use arrow os on their devices or they use pixel experience on their devices and here is a minor differences between both of these ones as in arrow os you have uh, the white background etc in pixel experience you have the black background by the way the video is a little bit old but let me tell you one thing in pixel experience plus latest edition in may security patch you have the black background back in the april update it, there was a white background but now again black background so as if you need the light one you will go for arrow os or if you need the black or dark one you'll go with the pixel experience same with that if we move on to the settings app pixel experience will give you some extra things like game dashboard or all the pixel props etc which unfortunately not available in arrow os so keep this thing in your mind for sure other than else almost same kind of things like battery etc has all Almost same kind of things some features which are available in arrow os those features might not be available in pixel experience but there are no major changes you'll get to know arrow os is aosp pixel one is pixel so choose according to your own preference so this was all and i hope you like this video thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video goodbye Like I'm floating through